Hello everyone and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital has a lengthy history of attracting viewers with sophisticated plots and adored characters. Lulu Spencer, for example, is a heritage character with strong ties to the show's history. Rumors have been circulating that General Hospital has issued a casting call for a new actress to play Lulu Spencer. This probable casting has prompted a wave of curiosity and enthusiasm among fans who are curious about how the character's reappearance would affect the narrative landscape of Port Charles. Lulu Spencer, the daughter of iconic characters Luke and Laura Spencer, has played a pivotal role in General Hospital since her debut. She has been in a number of high-stakes stories over the years, ranging from dramatic romances to heated family feuds. Lulu's character personifies the spirit of adventure and resilience, which she surely received from her legendary parents. Lulu's departure from the show created a major hole. Her disappearance was explained by a plot twist in which she fell into a coma as a result of a horrific explosion, allowing the character to be written out while leaving the door open for a possible comeback. The possibility of Lulu waking up from her coma and returning to Port Charles's tumultuous world opens up an infinite number of narrative possibilities. The announcement of a casting call for a new Lulu has rekindled interest in the character. While specifics about the casting process and potential actresses are kept under wraps, it is evident that the filmmakers are searching for someone who can embody Lulu Spencer. The new actress must bring a new perspective while respecting the character's rich history and the beloved performances of earlier actresses, notably Julie Berman and Emmy Rylan. The decision to recast a character as important as Lulu is not done lightly. The producers must strike a balance between respecting the character's past and bringing new vigor to the position. This delicate balancing act necessitates a thorough screening procedure to locate an actress who can effortlessly fit into the existing cast and add additional aspects to Lulu's character. Fans are divided between enthusiasm and worry about Lulu's prospective recasting. On the one hand, many people are excited to have Lulu back on their TVs. Her interactions with crucial characters such as Dante Falconeri, her ex-husband, and Maxie Jones, her best friend, have left an indelible mark on the show's plot. Fans are curious to watch how these dynamics change with Lulu's reappearance. However, recasting a cherished character always has hazards. Fans have grown accustomed to earlier depictions and may have high expectations for the new actress. However, General Hospital has a history of successful recasts that have breathed new life into beloved roles. The show's producers and writers have continually proved their ability to handle these shifts while respecting both the character and the audience's commitment. Lulu's homecoming provides us numerous plot opportunities. Her emergence from the coma can be a dramatic occurrence in and of itself, possibly linked to a wider plot involving other major characters. Given Lulu's previous involvement in major stories, her return might revive old feuds, spark new relationships, and reveal long-buried secrets. One of the most eagerly awaited aspects of Lulu's comeback is her reunion with Dante Falconeri. Their relationship has been a wild ride of love, betrayal, and redemption. Dante's life has progressed since Lulu's disappearance, but her return may disrupt his current course and cause emotional upheaval. The author's approach to this reunion will have a significant impact on the trajectory of both characters. Lulu's friendship with Maxie Jones is another important relationship that may be harmed. Maxie has suffered several struggles and tribulations, and Lulu's homecoming may bring much-needed support or provide new challenges. The friendship between these two characters is crucial to the drama, and viewers will be interested to watch how it develops. Lulu's reappearance will have a far-reaching impact on Port Charles. Her reintroduction into the town's complicated social fabric may rekindle old alliances and rivalries, bringing new drama to the forefront. Characters who have previously interacted with Lulu, whether positively or negatively, will be compelled to confront their past with her, bringing dimension and intensity to the story. Furthermore, Lulu's homecoming can act as a trigger for new storylines. Her investigative inclination and proclivity for getting entangled in high-stakes situations could land her in the heart of ongoing conflicts or developing dangers. Whether she returns to her role as a journalist or embarks on a new venture, Lulu's presence will definitely provide new vigor to the tale. 
the casting call for a new Lulu Spencer has set the stage for a dramatic change on General Hospital. As fans eagerly anticipate the revelation of the actress who will play this beloved part, excitement grows for the story possibilities that her comeback will bring. Lulu Spencer's character exemplifies Port Charles's adventurous and strong spirit, and her return promises to spark old loves, reveal buried secrets, and bring new drama to the forefront. General Hospital has a long history of developing with its characters, and Lulu's recasting is just one more chapter in the show's rich history. Lulu Spencer's reappearance is more than just a character revival, it's a resurgence of the daring, resilient energy she brings to Port Charles. As the plot progresses, fans can expect a mix of nostalgia and fresh beginnings, keeping General Hospital as captivating as ever. Emmy Ryland, three years into Lulu's never-ending coma on General Hospital, felt she still had that job. It is my understanding that when they choose to wake her up, they will call me, the actor, who took over as Luke and Laura's daughter from Julie Marie Berman in 2013, wrote on Instagram. That can always change. Who knows? It appears that things have changed. TV Insider says that the show has put out a casting call for a character named Lauren. She is supposed to be 34 to 40 years old, blonde, white, gorgeous, dynamic, and fiery. Of fact, most of those descriptions could be applied to a variety of people, Nina, Carly, Jocelyn, Port Charles is brimming with stunning, energetic, fiery blondes. However, the casting call goes on to explain that Lauren has survived difficult circumstances and now possesses an abundance of strength and tenacity. Is there anything more difficult than a post-explosion coma that pulled the legacy character away from her ex-husband Dante just as she was about to say she wanted to reconcile? Don't think so. Whoever ends up playing the plum will get into a delicious story. While Lulu may have spent the last few years hoping, literally dreaming, of a future with Dante, he has subsequently entered into a committed relationship with Sam. Not only was Lulu's daughter with Valentine shot, but Charlotte has also fled with Daddy in an attempt to avoid doing time for his participation with Pikeman. Natalia brings Blaze to Café Chic. Natalia didn't mean to upset her by forcing her to leave the hospital, and she accepts that what she and Christina share is love. Blaze claims she is still unable to admit that they are in a relationship. Natalia says she's trying, so please help her understand. Natalia wants her to tell her about herself and Christina. Blaze tells her mother that they started seeing each other around Christmas, but she was afraid of being found out. It was not because of her fans, but of her family. She was terrified they would stop loving her, and her mother would not be the first to reject their gay kid. Natalia maintains she would never do that, but Blaze was unaware of this at the time. Blaze recalls holding hands with Christina in the plaza, but she yanked her hand away as they came across individuals they knew. She had no idea she had done it, but Christina called her out. She cries, saying she was so used to disguising who she was that she almost missed out on meeting Christina. Natalia feels sad that she had to go through it. She's also remorseful for how she reacted to her and Kristen. She realizes now how arrogant she was in blaming what occurred with Link for her pursuing a connection with another lady. She said she couldn't believe her daughter could have feelings for another lady since decent girls don't behave that way. Blaze inquires, does part of you still feel that way? Natalia agrees that it is difficult to unlearn something you have always believed to be correct. It's like attempting to learn to write with the other hand. Perhaps she should thank Ava for releasing the recording and putting her straight. Blaze weeps because Christina is so essential to her that she cannot bear the thought of losing her. Natalia believes they must have trust that Christina will make it through. Blaze praises her mother for listening and allowing her to explain. Blaze even claims that when her mother referred to Christina as her girlfriend, she did not cringe. Natalia says she's trying. Blaze says she is successful, so thank you. Jordan gives Blaze a call. Jordan informs her that Christina is fine, but she lost the baby. Jordan returns to the hospital and asks Dante if Ava is guilty for her grandchild's death. Dante claims he cannot comment on an active investigation, although she is aware of this, and he has even been advised to step aside from the matter. Molly apologizes to TJ for not being present and for being in court at the time. 
TJ claims she is not at blame and that even if she were present, nothing could have been done. TJ claims she is here now, and that is all that matters. Molly screams, we had a baby girl, and now she's gone. They embrace. Sonny goes to the roof to think. He returns to Dante, turns on him, and tells him he can no longer help him. He remembers Joss shouting out at him for everything he had done to Dex. He recalls Anna telling him that she could no longer ignore his concerns. Finally, he considers what Molly just told him, blaming him for what happened to Christina and the baby. Meanwhile, Alexis travels to see her kid. She embraces Christina, telling her she is sorry and that they will make it through this. The monitors suddenly start beeping, and Alexis pleads for aid. Sunny teeters on the ledge of the hospital roof at the next general hospital, telling someone, You aren't here, you are just my imagination. Blaze wants to accompany Christina in the ambulance, but she is unable to do so because she is not a family member. Joss says she's Christina's sister and will accompany her. Natalia leaves with Blaze for the hospital. Dante tries calling his father, but he does not answer. In her room, Ava phones Scott again and inquires as to his whereabouts. She tears, saying everything is coming apart and that she wants him to come to her chamber at the Metro Court. Ava keeps thinking about the argument and Christina fleeing out the window. She tells herself it was an accident and that she did not intend for it to happen. However, she understands that no one will believe her unless she helps them believe what she wants. In Sunny's office, he tells Lois that they should put this conversation on hold because he is very busy. Lois refuses since it jeopardizes her daughter's future. She wants to know if the money he has invested in this label is legitimate. He claims it is, so she demands on knowing where the money comes from. Lois says she loves him, but she has to watch out for her kid. He offers to put her in touch with his accountant. Lois tells Sonny that she dislikes leaving things like this between them, but for the time being, it's the only way. Later, when Gio calls, Sonny takes up the phone. Gio explains that Dante has been attempting to contact him and there has been an accident at the Metro Court. He informs Sonny Christina that she has fallen out of a window and into the pool. At the pool, Chase encourages Dante to go to the hospital because he can handle it. Gio interrupts, telling Dante that he spoke with Sonny and is on his way to the hospital. Dante says his father will care for Christina, and he wants to know what occurred. Dante says they need to collect the hotel surveillance footage and get into that room. Dante notices that the curtains are closed, why didn't Christina grab them before exiting the window? Chase believes this suggests Christina was not alone, and the curtains were closed. Trina approaches Dante and Chase to speak with them. Later, she checks on Gio and tells him he should be proud of himself, especially since he has no medical expertise. Gio believes he should have known to go for the backboard without Joss telling him. Trina comments, thank goodness they had Joss. Gio isn't sure how this happened. Trina explains that Christina fell from Ava's room. He asks, your boss? She claims Ava is also her friend. Gio asks Trina how well she knows Ava. Trina admits that she may not know her at all. Trina acknowledges that Ava isn't a saint and has done some horrible things, but she's been a friend and mentor. Trina states that Ava has always had her back, and she believes she is more than her sins in the past. But maybe she was incorrect, and Ava is everything everyone says she is, if not worse. Brooklyn splashes water on her face in the ladies' room, remembering the disaster. Lois finds her daughter after hearing what happened and asks whether she's okay. Brooklyn informs her mother that Christina is the woman who fell into the pool. Lois is astonished, and Brooklyn tells her how fantastic Joss and Gio were in the heat of the moment. She also feels horrible about Blaze, who was losing her mind. Lois is concerned for Sonny, who previously stated that he was not in a good mood and that he, too, will go out of his mind when he finds out about this. Brooklyn questions why she was with Sonny. When Lois avoids the question, Brooklyn assumes they are referring to her. Lois reveals she had concerns about the source of Sunny's investment in the label, and she believes that not all of Sunny's revenue is real. Brooklyn cannot believe Sunny would use mob money to fund this label. Lois informs her daughter that she has a blind spot with Sunny. 
Brooklyn wishes she had shared her concerns with her rather than keeping them hidden. Brooklyn urges her mother to respect her and her judgment. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.